How's it going, guys? Mark here from Santino Sunday Cigar View, Santino Cigars and Cocktails. And we're back for a tip. I know it's been a little while since we did a tip, but I was on vacation and I was on vacation. So Uncle Rob kind of gave me a little idea this week to talk a little bit about uh, something we see a lot is, is cigars before a big meal and cigars after a big meal. Um, so a lot of times that you see it, you know, you go out for pre-dinner drinks or you go out for, you know, post-dinner drinks, dessert, scotch for dessert, you know, things like that. Uh, sometimes you want to have a cigar before your dinner. Uh, the one thing that, that I can say from, from experience that what can happen is if you're not on a full stomach and you start drinking or if you have a couple of cocktails and you have a cigar, be very careful in which the strength of what you're drinking because one, it can, it can make you queasy um, and it can give you the illusion of being more hungry than you are. Um, so I, I would always like to say that if, before you go out, if you want to have a cigar, if you want to have a cocktail, um, have one cocktail and maybe smoke something lighter than you usually would. Maybe not as large, a shorter cigar, something that's not going to take up as much time for you to smoke. Now, when it comes to post-meal, depending on how you're feeling really is going to depend on what it is you want to go do. Um, typically, I try to tell people don't gorge yourself in food. Don't get to the point that you kind of sit down and unbuckle your pants because you know, you've had too much to eat and then you're just going to finish off the bottle of wine and go home. Um, if you intend on going out to have a cocktail after dinner, if you're going to have a cigar, if you're meeting people to have cigars and cocktails, eat hearty and put enough food in, in, into your system, but don't eat too much that it makes you lethargic. You don't want that because then it's going to, even if you force yourself to go out, it's going to change and alter the experience of the cigar. If you get too full, you know, you're burping a lot, there's a lot of indigestion issues, things like that, it's going to alter the cigar. So what it comes down to, Plan your pre-smokes carefully and don't gorge yourself if you intend to smoke when you're done. That's this week's Just a Tip.